Hello, and welcome to Audiobook Channel. Best Books Club. We're diving into the compelling memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, by J.D. Vance. This book takes us on a journey through the heart of America's Rust Belt, offering an insider's perspective on the struggles and resilience of the working-class families who live there. Vance's story is both personal and political, weaving his own experiences with broader social commentary on the decline of the American dream for many in the Appalachian region. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll explore the key themes, characters, and events that make this book a powerful reflection on identity, family, and the challenges of escaping the cycle of poverty. J.D. Vance opens his memoir by introducing us to the concept of the hillbilly identity. He explains that this term, often used pejoratively, refers to the working-class white people of Appalachian heritage. These communities are deeply rooted in traditional values, yet they face significant social and economic challenges. Vance sets the stage by describing his own background, growing up in a poor family in Middletown, Ohio, with roots in Jackson, Kentucky. This duality of urban and rural life is central to understanding the complex identity crisis he experiences throughout his life. Vance traces his family's roots back to the Appalachian Mountains, painting a picture of a close-knit, yet troubled family. His grandparents, whom he affectionately calls Mama and Papa, play a crucial role in his upbringing. They moved to Ohio for better job opportunities but never really left their Appalachian values behind. This chapter explores the strong family bonds that characterize hillbilly culture, but also the generational trauma and dysfunction that often accompany it. Vance's grandparents, though loving, have their own issues, including Papa's alcoholism and Mama's fiery temper, which impact the entire family. One of the central themes of Hillbilly Elegy is the pervasive impact of poverty and addiction. Vance's mother, Bev, is a prime example of this struggle. Despite her intelligence and potential, she battles with drug addiction, which leads to a series of unstable relationships and a tumultuous home life for Vance and his sister. This chapter delves into the cyclical nature of poverty and how it affects not just individuals, but entire communities. Vance candidly discusses the stigma and hopelessness that come with being poor in America, and how these factors contribute to a sense of defeatism that is hard to escape. Despite the challenges he faces, Vance manages to find a way out through education. This chapter highlights the importance of schooling in Vance's life, from his time in high school to his eventual acceptance into Yale Law School. Vance credits much of his success to the discipline instilled in him by his grandparents, particularly Mama, who emphasized the value of hard work and perseverance. We also learn about the cultural shock Vance experiences at Yale, where he grapples with his hillbilly identity in an elite environment. His journey through education serves as a beacon of hope, demonstrating that escape from poverty is possible, but not without significant personal and cultural challenges. Vance examines the culture of honor that pervades hillbilly communities, where pride and loyalty often lead to violent confrontations. This culture, deeply ingrained in his family and community, values toughness and a fierce sense of justice. However, this mindset also contributes to the cycle of violence and instability that plagues many families, including Vance's own. He shares anecdotes of his childhood, where physical fights and aggressive behavior were commonplace, and how these experiences shaped his understanding of masculinity and personal strength. In this chapter, Vance discusses the role of government and societal institutions in addressing the problems faced by the working class. He critiques both liberal and conservative approaches, arguing that neither side fully understands or effectively addresses the needs of communities like his. Vance points out that while government assistance can provide temporary relief, it often fails to address the underlying issues of cultural decay and lack of personal responsibility. He advocates for a more nuanced approach that combines economic support with efforts to rebuild community values and personal accountability. A key message in Hillbilly Elegy is the importance of personal responsibility in overcoming adversity. Vance reflects on the decisions he made that allowed him to break free from the cycle of poverty, including his commitment to education, his choice to join the Marine Corps, 
and his determination to avoid the pitfalls that trapped his mother. He acknowledges that while external factors like government policy and economic conditions play a role, personal choices and resilience are crucial in achieving success. This chapter serves as a call to action for individuals to take control of their lives and strive for better, even in the face of overwhelming odds. As Vance ascends into the middle class, he faces the challenge of assimilation into a world that is vastly different from the one he grew up in. This chapter explores the internal conflict Vance experiences as he navigates the cultural divide between his hillbilly roots and his new life among the elite. He discusses the guilt and identity crisis that come with leaving behind his family and community, and the struggle to reconcile his past with his future. Vance's story highlights the emotional toll of social mobility and the difficulty of staying connected to one's heritage while striving for a better life. Despite the many challenges he faces, Vance's story is ultimately one of resilience and hope. This chapter emphasizes the importance of resilience in overcoming adversity and the role of hope in motivating individuals to strive for a better future. Vance's journey from a troubled childhood to becoming a successful lawyer is a testament to the power of perseverance and the belief that change is possible. He encourages others from similar backgrounds to hold on to hope and to seek out opportunities for growth and self-improvement. In the final chapter, Vance reflects on the broader implications of his story. He considers what his experiences say about the state of the American dream and the future of the working class. Vance acknowledges that his story is not typical, but he hopes it can inspire others to believe in the possibility of change. He calls for a greater understanding of the challenges faced by communities like his and urges both individuals and society to take action to address these issues. Vance's memoir is a powerful reminder of the importance of empathy, perseverance, and the belief that no matter where you come from, you can always strive for a better life. Thank you for listening to this detailed summary of Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance. This memoir offers a deeply personal look at the struggles and triumphs of the working class in America, and it challenges us to think critically about the societal factors that shape our lives. If you enjoyed this summary, be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe to Audiobook Channel, Best Books Club for more in-depth summaries and discussions of the world's most impactful books. Until next time, Keep reading and stay curious.